Hi, I'm Mike Summers. I'm a professor of chemistry and biochemistry at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. I've been on the faculty there since 1987. Uh, we use nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR, as a method to study parts of the AIDS virus. Uh, we initially focused on the protein parts of the virus. They're the parts that give the virus its shape and help the virus infect new cells. More recently, we've been focusing on the genome, the viral RNA, the part of the virus that contains all the information that allows the virus to reproduce. And we want to know what it looks like and how it interacts with other parts of the virus so that after it infects a cell, it can make lots of new viruses and go out and spread. Now, we want to know how all that works, obviously, but we'd also like to be able to inhibit how it works uh, as one goal. And a second goal, uh, honestly, is to, if we, if we really understand how the RNA works, how the genome works, we or others might be able to engineer viruses to do good rather than harm. So it might be possible to use viruses as a way of introducing gene modifications to help people with debilitating or deadly um, diseases. My lab is unusual in that uh, we employ a large number of undergraduates and even high school students in our research. Uh, typically, my lab includes about six or seven graduate students and two to four postdocs. But generally, during the academic year, we will have maybe 25 undergraduates. And then during the summer, because we do outreach work, the number of undergraduates swells to about 40 or so. And this summer, we're even, we even have a large number of high school students. We do work with a, a group called Baltimore Youth Works. It's run out of the mayor's office. And it's a way of getting students from the inner city who really don't have a lot of summer employment opportunities, but they like science, uh, getting them into real research labs where they can contribute to science and start to feel what it's like to, to be a scientist. So this summer I'll have 50 undergraduates and high school students all working in the lab on our HIV research. Now, we don't have any back burner projects. The undergraduates and high school students work side by side with the graduate students and often contribute to publications. Uh, our last two science papers together had 18 undergraduate and one high school students as, as co-authors. So it's an exciting part of what we do in addition to the science. We think we're helping to prepare uh, tomorrow's scientists.